What's up guys, it is IRGT85, happy Friday or whenever you are watching this video, but we got some stuff to talk about in the world of video games, and honestly there's going to be a lot of complaining in this video. I need to complain about Arcade 1UP because I don't like the road that they're going down, especially with the X-Men Arcade 1UP cabinet pre-orders. I'm going to talk about Nintendo Switch OLED scalpers as well because you people are idiots, whether you're buying it from scalpers or you're scalping it yourself, you are a moron and a horrible, horrible person. But first we're going to talk about the alleged Nintendo Switch Killer, the new Nintendo Switch Pro, the Steam Deck, and what I think of it, what the positives are, and what the drawbacks are. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share the video. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games, and let's talk about this Nintendo Switch Pro, or the real Nintendo Switch Pro, the Nintendo Switch Killer, the Valve Steam Deck. Yes, it was a very popular item of discussion yesterday, and as you guys know, I'm not a PC gamer. So I looked at it. I thought it was a Okay, you know, there's definitely some positives with it. There's definitely some negatives to it, but let's just talk about basically what this is. Essentially what this is, is it will allow you to play your Steam library wherever you are with a portable device. It has buttons, it has touch pads on it. It has, of course, a D-pad, analog sticks, back button triggers, and a nice little display on it. Now, the display on it is a 720p display, much like the Nintendo Switch, but all of a sudden, a 720p display isn't a big deal, and obviously, this is a lot more powerful than a Nintendo Switch because you are essentially running about PS4 performance games on this thing in terms of visual quality and clarity. Of course, when it comes to Steam games, there's a billion different Steam games out there, but there's definitely some that are very taxing and very graphically intensive, and this system will be able to run all of those games. So right then and there, that's a very impressive thing. I think it's a very interesting idea for Valve to enter this marketplace, but like I said, there are some drawbacks to this system and just some things that I think people aren't really taking into consideration with this system. Them. First off, we have the fact of the price point of it. Now, what you get for the price point of it is very reasonable. And let me preface this before I go any further. I do plan on trying to pick one of these up, but there are a couple different options when you are purchasing this thing. You can get the $399 one, which has a 64 gigabyte memory card, comes with a carrying case, a 529 that has a 256 gigabyte SSD card with it, which obviously means faster storage. And you know, I've recently gotten onto the SSD stuff when it comes to my computer, it definitely makes a difference. And then, of course, the $650 one with a 512 gigabyte SSD, anti-glare etched screen. So that kind of makes me wonder, like, what's the screen quality going to be like from system to system if the premium $650 one is the handheld that has the only anti-glare screen on it? But obviously, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this. Like I said, I think, if anything, this is going to sort of eliminate gaming PCs and people will move on towards this thing. There will be a separate dock that you can purchase as well for this so that you can play it on your television of course when you think about emulators and stuff on this thing it's going to be absolutely incredible to run saturn stuff and dreamcast stuff in the palm of your hand probably with excellent performance if not better than it was originally done on the consoles so there's definitely a lot of positives about this system but the price point is a bit daunting it makes it sort of to the point of where i mean you could buy the 400 one but without that ssd memory into it yes you could buy it separately but without it coming with it like you are sort of limiting yourself of course steam game downloads are pretty sizable as well so you're going to be going through ssd cards and just micro sd cards in general with this thing when you talk about the battery life of this thing for the more graphically intensive games aka most of the games people will be playing it only gets about two hours of battery life on it which i mean that's like not great that's like game gear levels and then the design of the system itself i think is kind of ugly and of course you know the beauty is in the eye of the beholder but looking at like the button layout for this it doesn't look very comfortable like the d-pad is in a completely different area code the buttons themselves are in a completely different area code everything is just so spread out and stretched out and this isn't a small system either so it's kind of going to be weird i feel when it comes to actually holding and playing this system i do think that this system is awesome but i don't think this is going to do any sort of dent into the nintendo switch fan base or the nintendo switch sales because of the fact that this is a valve product it's not going to be something that's available in stores and valve will probably do a trickle stream of these as they come out because it's really going to be interesting to see what the demand demand is for this because there are sort of similar products out there on the market that just don't utilize steam but can do some similar things that this can do so i don't know you know it's a cool thing like i said i'm definitely going to try to get my hands on one because i am interested in it but people saying like nintendo switch pro nintendo switch killer like i get the grind i get the hustle you know get those get those clickbaity titles going it's all love here because you're just making a statement on how you feel about this but for me personally i think this is just going to be a very very niche thing 
I would be very surprised if they managed to sell like 2 million of these in a year because obviously it comes down to some supply constraints as well. But definitely something very interesting. But as far as the Nintendo Switch killer is concerned, I think this is definitely a very niche market. Moving right along, Arcade One Up. What are you? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Look, I have been a fan of you since day one. I own the Street Fighter II, the original Championship Edition arcade cabinet. I remember paying three hundred dollars for it and falling in love with it. It still works great. I still play it, you know, at least once a week when I'm in my game room. I still definitely enjoy it. And of course, since then, I have bought a fleet of these. The most recent one, of course, being the NBA Jam cabinet. I got the Turtles cabinet, Mortal Kombat Two. The Marvel Super Heroes one, I had a Final Fight one that I turned into a WrestleFest. I love these things, but Arcade 1UP has been a very strange company as of late. So much, in fact, that like their whole PR department just doesn't seem to exist anymore. They're not really active on Facebook or Twitter anymore answering people's questions about these systems that are coming out. There's been lots of questions about what happened to like Killer Instinct. That was supposed to come out this year. Are pre-orders going to happen with this? The whole Simpsons Arcade cabinet. It was a thing and then it wasn't a thing, but now it's a thing again and it's going to be available for pre-order in August. August. But of course, the most recent thing that went up for pre-order was the X-Men arcade cabinet. And I've said since this was unveiled that I wanted to buy this. I have very fond memories of playing X-Men at Milford Amusement Center. I played X-Men, I played WrestleFest, and that is ingrained in my brain from when I was a small child. Now, I do have X-Men on my uh, customized WrestleFest arcade one-up cabinet, but I love the artwork for the X-Men arcade cabinet, so I was definitely looking forward to this. Now, obviously, some things are out of your control when it comes to pricing stuff you know the price of wood has gone through the roof and stuff like that no not stupid australian wood but like the actual wood product so i get it i get that you have to you know change up prices from some time but like i said i remember buying street fighter for 300 dollars, mortal Kombat for 300 dollars. i think i paid 400 dollars for nba jam because i got the cheaper one well i went to look at the x-men arcade one-up pre-orders for this because i wanted to get it and do you know how much it is seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars and like i could swing it I can afford it, but why is it $700? Why are we seeing this huge jump in price with these systems? So I looked over the specs and I could sort of see what they're doing with this. It has Wi-Fi built into it. Like, okay, but the NBA Jam one has Wi-Fi built into it and I only paid $400 for that. Has a light up marquee. Okay, that, that's cool. Light up deck protector. You know what? I don't like light up deck protectors. I think they're annoying. I actually got the cheaper NBA Jam one for $400 because I did not want the light up deck protector. It comes with a little coin slot it comes with a riser it comes with a stool and it's like that's where all of this price is starting to drive up because now instead of just selling the cabinet itself and letting people buy the stools buy the risers if they want to or upgrade their marquees later on down the road to something like a light up marquee you're instilling that on day one and because of that now the price is going up on these and like i said i could swing 700 dollars for the x-men arcade cabinet but i just feel like it's too high i don't don't mind paying four or five hundred dollars for these at maximum price especially when the nostalgia is very high with this and yes nostalgia is very high with this x-men cabinet but i also feel like there is some point in time where you have to be like okay you know what you guys need to reel it back some maybe have some options that don't include a stand or a riser if you got rid of the stand you got rid of the riser you got rid of the light up marquee you got rid of the light up deck and still charge five hundred dollars for it yes that would be a hundred dollars more than the nba jam was with that similar features of wi-fi and whatnot but i would be willing to pay that because i understand but bundling all this crap in it almost becomes like a gamestop bundle to me so i'm passing on the x-men arcade cabinet killer instinct we might see a different story with that you know i'm definitely looking forward to that because that's a classic fighting game but the x-men one i just can't do it at 700 dollars. i hope arcade one up sort of rethinks their philosophy and maybe makes options of these if there was an option for a cheaper one and the only one that was available for me to buy was the more expensive one okay i get that but only offering the most expensive one right Right out of the gate is definitely something i don't like but what do you think about this are arcade one-ups getting a bit out of control with their pricing let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and finally, Nintendo announced yesterday morning that Nintendo Switch OLED pre-orders would be going up, and I thought to myself, you know what? Nobody wants this system, so this should be an easy peasy thing. Of course, the Nintendo Switch OLED has a 7-inch OLED screen on it, same Joy-Cons, which we talked about a couple days ago on the channel, a revised kickstand, it has an Ethernet cable port on it as well for the dock, you know, improved audio speakers as well. We don't really know how they're improved, but we do know that they are improved. A nice little modest upgrade if you are a handheld player. If 
if you're not a handheld player, it should pass you by. But there's so many people on the interwebs saying, I'm not buying that. I'm not going to buy that. I don't want this. That I thought to myself, you know what? Twitter never lies. Everyone on Twitter knows exactly what's happening in the real world. I should have absolutely no problem picking up a Nintendo Switch OLED. Well, you know what? I had problems, damn it. There was lots of problems pre-ordering a Nintendo Switch OLED. I wanted the white one because I thought the white one was the most unique looking one. Now, granted, I'm not going to use the Joy-Cons and I'll never really look at the dock, but still, I just wanted the white one because that's what I wanted for my collection. And of course, I failed miserably. I managed to get a neon blue and red one from Walmart's website, but Walmart's website immediately sold out of the white ones. Best Buy's website had a waiting queue. I entered the waiting queue. They let me put it in my cart, and when I went to check out, they removed it from my cart and I never got the white one. So I should be happy that I got a neon one. I am happy that I got a neon one, but still I wanted a white one because I was told that nobody wanted this on the internet. Well, you know what? People are a damn lie because a scalping is already rampant on this damn thing. And it's not just people putting them up on eBay for astronomical prices. No, no, no. It's people buying them on eBay for astronomical prices. So I'm filming this right now on July 15th, the same day it went up. It is 10 p.m. Eastern time because I plan on playing Skyward Sword HD all day tomorrow because that comes in and I'm looking forward to playing it. But you can see here when the dates come up and stuff like that, that's pretty much the reason I'm mentioning it. So you got people saying $500, $600, $600, $500, $489.99, $400 what a steal, $500. Like these people are asking high premium prices, nearly double the price of what it was originally selling for which is the $350 MSRP. Now, I don't care necessarily about things like this because any jackass can put up something for order on eBay. They can ask any sort of price on it and, you know, whatever. That's fine. The problem becomes when we start talking about systems that are actually sold because that, that's, that's, that's the big problem here. So let's take a look at these sold items that have been sold for this because what you're doing is you're allowing these scalpers to win. $600! Somebody bought the damn thing for $600! You know, I'm putting my camera back on for this what is wrong with you 450 475 500 dollars 500 dollars 500 dollars 510 like these are sold listings for the system sold listings meaning that people instead of trying to buy it online or just simply waiting for more to become available for this are already paying over 150 dollars plus to buy these systems and it is ridiculous this is the reason why scalpers exist you don't need the nintendo switch oled remember nobody wanted it to begin with so i just find it absolutely ridiculous ridiculous between this and arcade one up i am sweating this is sweat on my neck and like i said it's nighttime but it's still hot out it's very muggy and humid out i got the air running but i don't want it to run too loud because then people will be like oh i can't hear you in the video but this is ridiculous this is stop stop with the scalping stop buying things for scalping prices you do not need this new nintendo switch you know who needs a new nintendo switch oled people when it comes to really when you think about it people who make videos on youtube because we need content we need stuff to talk about and obviously looking at the Nintendo Switch OLED is going to make for a very interesting video, especially comparing it to the standard Nintendo Switch model when in handheld mode. But beyond that, you can wait. It's not, it's you, the, the whole internet said nobody wanted this thing. And now all of a sudden, everybody wants this thing and they're paying ridiculous prices on eBay. Please show some restraint. Please show some restraint or else you're going to end up sweaty like me and have sweat marks on your shirt. And God, just wrap this segment up. Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below. What do you think of my disgusting sweat stain going on here? What do you think about the Steam Deck? Is it the Nintendo Switch killer or is it a niche product? Like most people should think it is, and even though they're not thinking it is, because I don't know, people are just ridiculous. And arcade one up, you know, what the hell are they doing? And the Nintendo Switch OLED, the thing nobody wanted, but now all of a sudden everybody wants. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to like and the video check out some of the videos from earlier in this week the Wii video very well received but not a lot of you people watched it so watch it it's a good video you'll get some cheap Wii games I've been playing a lot of Wii games recently actually like I just dug back into the library of the Wii and I absolutely love that freaking system and as always guys I'll catch you guys on the next video later